Hey, Flower Tribe, it's Kelly Lehman from Cranberry Fields Flower Farm, and I wanted to show you how I plant some of my Cosmo seeds. So this is what a Cosmo seed looks like. And a lot of times when you're harvesting your own seeds, or if you have seeds from, you know, like a company, sometimes I put them on a white paper towel because they're super tiny and they're hard to see. So I'll come out here with them in this little paper towel, and I'm gonna dig a hole that's only a quarter of an inch deep. You don't wanna put these gals too deep in the ground, otherwise they may not come up. So a quarter of an inch, sometimes they'll even come out here with like a little tape measure and I'll actually measure that off. But I'm gonna dig a couple holes here. I'm gonna plant them about 10 to 12 inches apart, especially some of the branching varieties because they get really branchy and guys, know that cosmos take a long time to come up. So be super patient. You may not see sprouts for quite a long time, but chances are they're gonna come up because they're super easy to grow. So I'm just gonna pop them in the ground about 10 to 12 inches apart. I'm gonna bury them about a quarter of an inch deep and make sure that you check the back of your seed packets because different varieties are sometimes planted at different depths and different spacing. So make sure that you really check the back of those seed packets because that, that's gonna tell you the best uh, way to plant them. So I'm gonna pop, just pop them in the ground and just a tiny bit of soil on top. And we're just gonna water it in and make sure that that stays nice and moist so that the seeds can germinate. I wanted to show you what my double click cosmos look like when they're inside of an arrangement. So there's one right there. Notice all the beautiful double petals. And I harvested this one when it wasn't quite full blown open yet. So it had extra days of vase life. But it looks beautiful next to that zinnia and next to the hydrangea. And they're kind of like an accent flower because they're very delicate and they look beautiful mixed with other annual flowers and other perennial flowers. Hey Flower Tribe, I wanted to take you for a quick zen walk through this Cosmo field. So take a few deep breaths and take a few moments for yourself and just sit back and relax and please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for joining us in this video and please say hi to us over on my cranberry fields instagram page you can also find us on TikTok, and i made a whole bunch of podcasts for you you can find those wherever you listen to your podcast and please also let me know where you're viewing this from in this great big beautiful world i love to see how our flower tribe is growing around the globe each week also check out our kelly lehman's flower tribe facebook group because there's thousands of gardeners from all over the world and they're asking and answering loads of garden questions over there and know that YouTube has allowed me to have a super thanks uh, button attached to this channel. And if you'd like to buy us a cup of coffee or I'll let us know if you appreciate these videos, uh, that would be terrific. Or you could just give us a like or a comment below. I would appreciate that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.